Hey, what's up everyone? This is Evan Carthy from EvanCarthy.com. Today is March 24th, 2019. Today I'm going to go over oil, NASDAQ, and gold real quick to preview about what, what I'm looking for in this upcoming week. So starting off with uh, oil right here, you got a bunch of junk on the screen. This is something I tweeted out on Friday that uh, here's what we're looking at oil doing right here. So let me actually move this out from there and go to the other one here. All right, so this setup right here we're using <coughs> is the reverse lightning trade. And so on oil on Friday when um, price started going way down, uh, initiated the uh, reverse lightning trade. You can see uh, down here, let's see here real quick, let me get the correct one, there we go. You can see down here it broke out of the 0% uh, Fibonacci retracement level, this pivot point down here. So that initiated the uh, reverse lightning trade to the short side. So the current target, you can see all these arrows I have because I was trying to make it as legible as possible for Twitter. Um, I was saying here, when I put it on, I think the price is right here, that if the current exit is this arrow down here, down the pink line at 5809. That's just going to be around the 127% Fibonacci extension level. And uh, so, yeah, that's that. But then if price goes up and hits that 38% Fibonacci retracement level at about 59.23, then the exit's going to be the 0% Fibonacci level at uh, around 58.58. But if price goes up and hits this orange line up here before any of these other retracements come and take place, then we move the exit down to 59.51. So I know there's a couple of moving pieces on this, but that's the way the reverse lighting trade works for the entries and exits for it. So currently, uh, where price is right now, uh, we're looking at 58.09 to be the uh, exit level for um, uh, the exit for this current move to the short side for for oil. Now let me remove all this stuff on here because it clutters it up. Because what we're going to do is look at it from a from the daily time frame here. So yeah, on the uh, 15 minute time frame, that is currently what we are looking at right now, and I don't think price has hitting the 38 percent for a 38 120 no see it has it right here so the price does go down a little bit, a little bit more if using this reverse lightning trade right here if price does go and take that out then that will initiate to the long side of the 38 to 127 trade right there so we're looking at it right here at being uh, about 58 16 and so if that does happen then the exit we're looking for the first exit um, when that get initiated, it would be $62. So those are the two main setups in the 15-minute chart we're looking at right now. The current one that, that's live is the reverse lighting trade short setup. And the current exit that we're looking for, as I was mentioned a little bit ago, is going to be around uh, $58.06, around there. And then uh, I want to go to the daily chart because there's also some stuff going on over there. So here we have on the daily chart, and there is currently um, some current setups going on over here uh, that's gonna be I'm not worried about that one right now but so what we have right here is we have a reverse lightning trade going on and I want to show you something that happened late last week with it like that see so price came using that pivot point and that pivot point price came and broke out of it never came down here to hit 38 or excuse me, never came down hit the 127 uh, Fibonacci extension level, so retrace back up, and then last week it hit the 38% uh, Fibonacci retracement level. So what that does is it moves the exit now from the 127 level, which is around 41.65, up to the 0% Fibonacci level, which is going to be around about 49.30 is what it's going to be. So currently the exit to get out of this daily reverse lightning trade setup is going to be around 49.30 for it. Now price continues to go up, go up, go up. It needs to go up here and hit this this top again at about 76.90. And then that would move the exit just above the 50% um, 
Fibonacci uh, retracement level over here at about 63, uh, 40 ish, around there. So that's currently where we're at right now. The current exit for this uh, daily short uh, reverse lightning trade is about 49.30 ish, around there. So that's what we have going on for that daily chart. And then we also have a long side trade. You can use it daily or the hourly. Um, I'll show it on the daily right here. Seizing that pivot point, that pivot point price broke up out of it. So the current exit for it is going to be about 62.14 for it. So there's a couple different moves going on right now. Um, just the way things are kind of shaking out. I think we're looking at more downside to the market for um, a, 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 another move higher, and uh, but um, it, it may not shake out that way here here in the near term. But just upon just based upon the way the setups are going, especially this reverse lightning trade on the daily chart right here, um, you know, wouldn't be surprised if price goes all the way back down to let me put it back on over here real quick, down to around you know that 49 low 40 low 49 dollars here, and uh, to to get us out of that trade. But then on the other side, you also have um, the reverse lightning trade to the long side right here. So I mean, in in it also would um, it, it it could go down and hit that 49 mark, and then and then that would set the exit up here again up to 58 or so for it. But currently for that one, it's it's around 62 dollars. Um, I personally, I'm not sure if it. I don't I don't think it's going to go up there and hit there. I think we're going to see. More retracement along the way for it right there. For some reason, the MFI indicator is off of here. I'll put that back on here real quick. This is just what I like to see. The prices to it, yeah. Now, as you can see right here, price has been the money flow indicator. I just like using it to see how price is based upon a barometer for what it, for what's going on. Because because a lot of times when it does hit the over uh, bought indicator, you see retracement, and when it's oversold. You're eventually going to see um, a rebound back up there. So price price barely hit up there. Didn't really have retracement, and so it's been making higher highs. But as you can see, the divergence over here with the MFI. So normally that signals it in every time. That's why I don't trade off the MFI uh, solely. It's just used as a gauge. Um, you see weak weak weakness in that that is making higher highs in the price, but a lower high in the MFI. That means not as much money is coming into the market, and so we're eventually going to see the collapse for it. So that's why I think we're going to see more of the downside down to around the um, $49 level before um, price does eventually uh, move move um, back up. But I, I think this is going to be a good sticking point for it um, for a while, and it, and it also lines up perfectly with the 38% uh, level for the uh, reverse um, lightning trade for it. So that is oil. Let's go look at the NASDAQ real quick. And we'll look at the, um, really there's only a couple of, um, a couple on the daily, and then uh, we'll get some 15 minute trades right here. So here in the NASDAQ right here, we are you know still trucking along, getting close up to the 127. That's gonna be the current exit level for that move at about 76.29. Uh, you can see it, it took a little bit of a dive yesterday on Friday, excuse me, Friday. And then this is also another live reverse line trade setup right here. And the exit for that one is going to be at 77.97. So, um, but then look at the MFI right here. It's way hitting up here in the oversold level. So wouldn't be surprised or if in the, you know the next uh, couple of days or so, or, um, even week or more, uh, you will see some weakness in here, some retracement um, to get us out of that extremely overbought. Excuse me, it's overbought. It, this extremely overbought level um, right here for it. So if we do and say this is going to be a uh, 38,127 setup, especially on the hourly chart right there, uh, we're looking at at least it going down to about 68,87 for it. And I don't think I have one for, well, one, one, one little research I want to show you real quick what I did over here on the, um, okay, so yeah, so the, so the database is all the way down here, so that's going to be quite a bit. But one thing I did is I always look for some reverse lighting trades or 38,127 trades that never got fulfilled. And the only one I found down here was this one right here. So um, based upon the setups, price eventually is going to come back and fill this 1890 area uh, for it, so who knows when that's going to happen? Probably a long time ways. Hopefully, it will be a long time ways, but um, it won't get hit as hard 
as or the Nasdaq eventually won't get as hard as the S&P 500 will, because S&P 500 is going to go down a whole is going to go down. Um, you know, I think down to around like 800, 800 level for it. Even though obviously it's not the same type of um, you know unit system used for it right there. But this one overall isn't going to go as low. The Nasdaq isn't going to go as low before it hits us um, as the S&P 500 is going to go uh, for theirs when the eventual um, huge pullback slash crash happens to it. So then if you want to look up, say we're looking at, you know, like two huge moves for this. Let me just show you this up here. The initial area we'd be looking for to initiate the 38 to 127 trade wouldn't be until price hits around the 5200 level, assuming this area is going to be the pivot point high for what we're going to use for it. So uh, just one thing to um, think about for it that if, if there could be a lot more weakness and the market could uh, withstand it pretty well. Then using the 15 minute using the 15 minute chart right here, we are using that right there, right on right there. So there definitely could be a little bit more weakness here in the market to initiate that 38 to 127 trade. Price needs to come down to 30 30 73.24, excuse me. And then and that'd be a long side setup. And then down here what we have is a reverse lightning trade to the short side in the market. You can see here it broke out here. And um, so for currently the exit for that one is 73.18. There's a whole bunch more of them getting ready to get started off right here. If price keeps on going down, you see what breaks that one. That's going to initiate it. And exit is going to be um, 72.95. You got another one over here right there. If price breaks down right there, the initial target is going to be uh, 72.60. So based upon this uptrend right here, it definitely gives a lot of um, uh, movement for those reverse lightning trades to uh, get get started and um, probably go down and get fulfilled. So in the Nasdaq, I, I think that there's definitely going to be some pullback for the next week or two for it. And so don't be surprised when you see uh, Nasdaq, um, uh, you know, sh shave off some points from uh, where it's where it's currently has been. So Friday could have been the start, but like I said, I think for the next week or two, it's definitely going to see some more pullback as well. Now let's go. Last but not least, gold. Go just see, go see what they're doing right there. So gold gold in the near term it start, it started a little bit of a um, a, of an uptrend for it. Not really a whole, whole lot going on as far as 15 minute chart. What to look for? Really the only next move we're looking for. We're kind of in a in a holding pattern right here. Is just seeing what, just seeing what price is going to do right here because the price comes up and breaks out of uh, about 1318.5, then that would initiate the reverse lightning trade to the long side, and we'd be looking at 13. 22.7 to be the exit on that move um, right there. So that's really the only current move close to it. Um, if price collapses down over here and makes a reverse lightning trade to the short side, it needs to break this pivot low right here at about 12, 12.98. If it does that, then we'll be looking at the exit to be about uh, 12.92.2 for that initial reverse lightning trade move. But based upon this kind of no man's land right here, we're just waiting to see um, what's going to happen, whether it's going to break up above this 1320, or whether it's going to break down and go down below 1298, at least for the short term. And for the daily chart right here, uh, we do have a couple a couple moves going on right here. Um, we have the 38127 long daily that got initiated. The blue box right there is the uh, 38 to 61.8. Uh, retracement levels and you see price came down and hit it perfectly so currently for that one um, if this thing does hold up and this is when this is the reason why you take this trade is because you get a 38 percent level you can st you can this is going to be like a, a continuation trade you can definitely s make some really good gains out of it so if this is that and it does come up to hit this right here then the current exit that we have right here is the pink line just below the 127 percent Fibonacci level at about 1387.3 uh, so that's going to be the exit for that one to get out of there. Now there is also 38,127 short going the opposite way. And the current exit we're looking forward for for that would be, so hit the 78.6 level. So we're looking at just north of the 50% level to complete this trade currently from where it is. And that would be 12.68 um, to that one to, for, the, for that move to com be complete to the short side. Price goes up and hits 1369.3. Then we're looking at the 61.8, just north of it to be complete. So we'll say 12, about 1294 would be a spot for that to exit. But um, yes, yeah, so that's what we're looking for for the short trade right there. And then 
We also have a reverse lightning trade short on the daily side. There and right there. So you can see price broke out of it right there, never hit the 127, continue to bounce up, going up, going up. So currently for this one, the exit is, is still way down here at about 12.05. is going to be the current exit level for it. If price goes up and hits the 13.69 level, the next exit is going to move up to about the 12.87 over there. So, you know, if you're bullish on gold, you definitely want to see it to go up and hit this, um, from this, hit this top from what it had previously, because that's going to move up all the stops um, for the exit levels. I'll just draw some lines in here so we can see where the exit levels would be. Like for that reverse lightning trade setup, we're looking at an exit right there. And then for the 38 to 127 trade, we are going to have the exit of just north of the 61.8, right about right there. So you can see these exit levels pretty lined up, um, pretty cl pretty close to each other. So that's definitely you want to see. You know, if you're bullish on gold, you definitely have some good risk reward right here. Um, if you think that it's going to continue to go up and have uh, that that be the um, excuse me that be the exit right there. So you definitely want to see price come up here at least hit first this about the 1367. And then that would move these exits for those two short trades um, back over there. So anyways, hope that helps. If you want to see anything else, let me know. Thanks, bye.